And good morning, I'm meteorologist Amber Wheeler. This is your one minute forecast on this Tuesday, April 19th. It's going to be a windy day out there. Winds are increasing from the southeast. They actually already have. It's 415 AM and we've already seen an increase overnight last night. Uh, southeast winds today up to 15 to 25, gusting to 30 and 40. Uh, so, so kind of a windy one out there for you. Highs back into the 40s and the south there, uh, some 30s there along the north and uh, even maybe venturing into the 50s in far southwest North Dakota. Dakota. Let's talk about a couple chances for some moisture here. Uh, the first would be uh, later today into early this evening. You notice here the front between these two lows will not be very strong. Uh, it's not going to carry a lot of moisture for our neck of the woods. It'll carry more moisture for uh, the Grand Forks and Fargo areas. So you might see a quick little shower uh, late tonight into early tomorrow morning, but the chances are not high. Uh, of course, everybody's watching that uh, potential for weekend rain and snow. Uh, here are your rain and snow chances for the end of the week and into the weekend. It's a pretty dynamic system moving through. Uh, what's looking to happen right now is that as we head towards the weekend, we'll have this low move in on Friday, and this could bring some rain and even some thunderstorms. Uh, that's how warm we're going to be. Now, I say warm, but this is not going to be summertime type warmth here. We're talking some 40s, so we just got enough instability out there inside this system, enough forcing that we could see some thunderstorms. Now, as we head through the weekend and as that low pushes to the east, we could see more, we could see a chance for some snow. Some colder air gets brought in as the low exits. That's a natural kind of phenomenon that happens to these lows. Um, so uh, as of right now, it looks like many of us uh, for new moisture, we'll see anywhere between a half an inch to an inch and a half. Snow totals still all over the place here because uh, this system is wrapped up with so much rain. I think that your um, what the models that you saw on social media at, at the beginning of this week, yesterday through the weekend, I think they were a little too high. I don't think this is going to be a repeat of what we saw uh, last week, but it is going to give some of us some snow, especially um, the areas I'm watching west, western North Dakota, west of Highway 83 and into north central, that Mina area. So you could see some more snow heading into Sunday. So here are your next 10 days. Uh, you know, ups and downs continue, but check out the weekend there. Temperatures are going to be above freezing during the day. So even if we do get snow, it will be a wet snow and it could be mixed with rain. So for some of us, it's going to have a tough time accumulating. Um, and for others in the northwest where we could see some cooler air, but we'll be talking more about numbers as we get closer. Uh, but of course, stay tuned to KX News and KX not kxnet.com 